Was Diddy the reason that Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck divorced? We got to talk about that and a lot more. But before we get into it, please let me introduce myself. My name is Sebastian and I spill pop culture tea videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, who girl, I got you covered with all things Diddy, the Kardashians, Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck, Justin Bieber, Hailey Bieber, Selena Gomez, <gasps> you name it, I'm covering it. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on our way to 87K and I just have to say thank you guys so much for the love and support. You know, girl, I've been doing this for nine years, honey. Nine years, girl. So I'm so grateful for this. Thank you guys so much. But listen, best friend, we got to talk about this because the conspiracies are conspiracing. And, and girl, Jennifer Lopez is somewhere saying, girl, what in the, what in the, this is me now. What in the ham and cheese, small bag of chips and an orange drink is going on here. We got to talk about this. So listen, right. Okay, so there's new reports from People Magazine claiming that allegedly Jennifer Lopez did not want to divorce Ben Affleck, but allegedly she felt like she had no choice. <gasps> Best friend, listen, we she just did an interview with Interview Magazine and she's in her era of like, first I was afraid, I was petrified, I will survive. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God, I forgot the words. I will survive. Oh no, no, I, I will survive. Oh, as long as I know how to love, I know I stay alive. I got all my love to live and I got all my love to give. I will survive. Girl, I cannot move without this chair fat shaming me, bitch. I swear, like, damn. My my chair's called, her name is Bertha. But Bertha, she's a fat shaming hoe. I mean, seriously, girl, I can't, I can't even dance without her. It's like she's crying for help, bitch. Look. Bertha! What are the neighbors gonna think, bitch? Anyways, girl. So listen, right? Come here. So it says here that, um, okay, well, where, where does it say, bitch? Okay, so a new report in People Magazine claims that Jennifer Lopez did not want to file for divorce, okay? And that, okay, so listen, right? Saying that she had no choice. And of course, this is one of the most tough, uh, this is the toughest years, one of the toughest years in her life. And she didn't want to file for divorce, but she felt like she had no, she had no choice. Nothing was going to change Ben. So this report is raising a lot of eyebrows saying, hang on, why didn't she have a choice? What was Ben not changing? What was going on there? Well, best friend, now, if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, there were these claims from Suge Knight that alleging that Ben Affleck was shown a, a video of Diddy and J-Lo, allegedly, and that changed his whole perspective, uh, you know, uh, uh, from J-Lo, you know, of J-Lo. So listen, right? Um, so allegedly, here's, a, here's what it says. They go raid Puffy's Combs house and they get all these videos of J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that. Knight, Knight, ex-CEO of Death Row Records, who is currently in prison, told press, it's a white man who got respect in the white world. I'm quite sure they did. They said, we want to show you some things about your wife. I'm quite sure they headed for, they're headed for divorce because that's a man who had a good life. Quote, great parents don't spend a lot of money. Ain't tri tripping off paparazzi. He's living his life. He got his own team. She done brought all that extra shit out. And now that mother effer, he won out. So this is what Suge Knight claims that allegedly when the FBI went to raid Diddy's homes that they allegedly found all these videos of Jennifer Lopez. Listen, let me tell you something. Move aside Diddy for a second, girl. This marriage was never going to work. Because, girl, if it did not work out the first time and you were not smart enough to learn your lessons that Ben Affleck does not love public attention, Ben Affleck does not like the paparazzi, Ben Affleck does not like red carpets, Ben Affleck does not like nothing except being at home eating Dunkin' Donuts and producing, being behind the scenes, behind, you know, the camera, doing his work. That's all the man wants to do with his life, girl. You know what I mean? But Jennifer Lopez, girl, she wants to strut in every single freaking red carpet show go to the opening of a damn envelope. So of course, if you take that and, and you mix it with, 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 with Ben Affleck, I mean, their interests are so different. Yeah, maybe they love each other. Maybe they're sexually attracted to each other. But girl, when it comes down to the nitty gritty of it all, girl, he don't want that mess. And Jennifer Lopez, I believe does. Now, the whole tape thing, this uh, the alleged J-Lo Diddy tape thing, listen, I'll say this, okay? Obviously, it's all alleged. Obviously, it's all conspiracies. Obviously, it's all theories and 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 whatever it is. But let's just let's move into a world of Diddy for a second, okay? 
Celebrities have been very quiet lately. Why have they been quiet? I'll wait. Mm -hmm. They've been quiet, in my opinion, and not saying any certain celebrity, but just celebrities in general who had any type of connection with Diddy, allegedly, girl. They're being a little too quiet. You know, these allegations and accusations against Diddy right now are very serious. They're not just, you know, uh, a walk in the park. They are very serious, uh, you know, uh, accusations. Now, listen, Cassie, the Cassie situation, that was also a conspiracy. That was also a, a, an alleged, you know, lie by Cassie to get money from Diddy. And look, that turned out to be true. I really do firmly believe, this is my opinion and I get to have one. I believe that there is definitely something that has been in the hiding and in the dark for many, many years. I believe that Diddy, after what I saw him capable of doing to Cassie, I believe he's capable of doing anything. And that is my opinion. A person who is that cruel to another human being, I don't have any sympathy for, nor would nothing surprise me about this person. So that gives me to the next question. Those who have been around him, like uh, Tony Busby said, the uh, attorney of the new alleged 120 new alleged victims, him saying that anyone who had any part of it, uh, even if they didn't do anything with Diddy, but knew about it, egged it on, witnessed it, or supported it, and, and kept silent on it, they're also going to be in huge trouble. So that also implicates all of Hollywood, girl, because, girl, everybody was at these damn parties, okay? So I do believe that a lot of celebrities are being quiet because I do believe that Diddy might have something on them. I really do f fully believe that. Now, Jennifer Lopez, she did this new interview. She didn't, of course, mention Diddy. She's in her, you know, I'm a survivor. She's in, her, in, in that era in her life. And you know what? We'll see how long that lasts. I will say this, you know, if they dated, you know, 30 years ago or whatever, how long ago, and, and no connection ever after that, you would never see a picture of them together. They had no friendship or anything. I'd be like, you know what? JLo don't, doesn't know anything. But their, their friendship lasted even, you know, up to when she was with Alex Rodriguez. You know what I mean? They even did an Instagram live. They went live together. So I think I'm like, you know, if you don't know anything, um, you should speak out because there's so, already so many things being said. I mean, look, even things like that the FBI allegedly showed Ben Affleck a tape. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear, baby, okay? So I would just say, like, speak out, you know, do what you need to do, speak out, and, and try and understand that, you know, these theories and conspiracies are there and are growing every day because... Uh, we also thought that the Cassie thing, well, I, I didn't, I always believed her, but there were people who thought that that was also a conspiracy, and look what that turned out to be. I believe that where there's smoke, there is fire. Now, back to the the the, the marriage of, of Ben Affleck and, and, and Jennifer Lopez, it was never going to work out, like I said in the beginning, because if you, if you are lucky enough to be reunited with your partner, and you don't learn a damn lesson, girl, there is no Dr. Phil Oz, Dr. Oz, Oprah, bitch, not even the damn Wizard of Oz is going to help your ass, okay? because you need a fucking magic wand to biddy bobbity boom your ass so you can sit down and go on a timeout and take a melatonin and go to sleep and then wake up on the right foot because girl obviously the math ain't math because if two plus two is four and five is five is ten what the fuck is this amazing grace listen girl i don't know what to think about this um was Diddy the reason that they broke up? Why didn't she have a choice? How come he didn't want to turn, you know, uh, how come he didn't want to give her another chance? What happened in this? You know what I mean? There's so many different conspiracies and theories, but one thing is for sure, best friend, that I am living for the tea and I will be spilling it all day damn long. But celebrities out there, girl, listen, pay attention to the, the pop culture bad Victorian, Sebastian, you guys, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Check that, boo. Um, listen, all I know is that come the trial, the Diddy trial, May 5th, 2025. Ooh, girl, the tea will be piping hot, bitch. So get your teacups ready, girl, because I'm going to be spilling it. Anyways, girl, what do we think about this? Let me know in the comments. What do you think was... That the, the thing that she that had no choice in just divorcing. Why do you think that he didn't want to be with her again? Do you think it had to do with Diddy or do you think it had to do with something else? I personally think taking Diddy out of the equation, I just think that Jennifer Lopez's her life is too much for Ben Affleck. And I think that Jennifer Lopez 
thrives off being famous and she thrives off being you know successful and popular and i think that she would never turn that like her that part of her life off for nobody and that sucks because at the end of the day look how quickly the whole world turned on jennifer lopez this past year at some point in time you're gonna have to choose another human being to keep you warm at night and not just fame and applauses point blank period anyways i love you all so much thank you guys so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video please make sure to hit that subscribe button and i hope you guys have a fabulous sunday and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye